appraisals. This is a this is a big deal, and it's really important that you understand who the appraisal is for and what an appraisal, who's own, who owns the appraisal, who has copyrights of it. So we're going to talk about the appraisal. Okay, you're going to order uh, when you buy a house or you're refinancing a house, um, you're going to get an appraisal done. The appraisal is ordered through the lender. Okay, so the the lender is going to send an order into the pool. If it's a lender pool or it's a brokerage, they use an AMC. That order goes into this pool or bracket. From there, the AMC or the lender pool will send that appraisal order out to three to four or five different appraisers. And the first appraiser that accepts the order is the appraiser on the file. And what that does is, is doesn't allow any tampering of the file or selecting of the appraiser. So the appraisers are selected to be in a pool or selected to be with the AMC in that pool um, and that appraisal is sent, the appraisal order is sent into that pool and the appraiser selects if they want to do that job. So the appraiser isn't directly selected for that job, okay? So no realtor, borrower, seller, or lender can have, or loan originator can have an influence on that appraisal. So any, anybody on the loan originators, anybody involved in a transaction, we do not know who that appraiser is until the appraiser actually calls the listing agent or the homeowner for access to that property. Okay, so that's how we come about with the appraisal, with the appraiser and how that appraiser is selected. Once that appraiser is selected and they do the appraisal, okay, the appraiser owns the copyrights, okay, copyrights to that appraisal. Okay, they only, only that appraiser can change that appraisal once the appraisal is done. So even if the lender or the underwriter wants something different or wants something changed in that appraisal, they have to go to the appraiser to change it because he owns the copyrights of that appraisal. Only he is allowed. It's his license on that. So basically we're saying he owns the copyrights of this. I'm going to keep it all in layman's terms and not exact legal terms, but I just want you to give the basics. The owner of that appraisal is the lender. The lender is the owner of your appraisal. You do not own that appraisal. The lender does. Okay? That lender owns that appraisal unless you, you order appraisal off to yourself somewhere else and you would own that appraisal, but the appraiser would still own the copyrights of that. Okay? The bar, the buyer bar of the property has, has rights to receive a copy. That's it. You have rights to receive a copy. Okay? Now this is really important. You get a copy of that appraisal. When you have a contract, that is your appraisal. You have that copy. That's your copyrights. The lender is the owner. The appraiser has the copyrights. You, you, you have a right to receive that appraisal. Excuse me. You have a right just to receive that appraisal. What you don't want to do, the biggest mistake I see buyers and borrowers do, they hand a full copy of that appraisal to the realtor. Wait a second. You paid for that. Why are you giving it to them? Never give your appraisal away. All as you have to say by contract, I've accepted the appraisal. The underwriter, I received a copy of the appraisal. The price in it is fine, but the underwriter still has to accept the appraisal and approve of it for your loan. So all as you want to say is, you don't want to tell them the price in the appraisal. Don't tell them much. It's no one's business. How much that, pro that house appraised for? Don't tell your realtors. All you have to say is, I'm happy with the appraisal. I'm waiting for the underwriter to approve it. That's it. Do not send that appraisal to your realtors unless you have a written in the contract that you must. Okay? So usually there's an appraisal contingency for that. If there's no appraisal contingency, do not give that appraisal away. There's a lot of reasons why, and each contract is different. If something goes wrong with your file, now the realtors have negotiating power for the next deal that you paid for. Okay? Especially if the if you're purchasing a home at $150,000 and that appraisal comes in at $170,000 and you've given that to that realtor and that realtor that has the deal on it with the seller, they may have an investor to come in, wait for you to make a mistake or something go wrong with your file, overcut you, cut you out of the deal, bring their buyer in, and get a chance to buy and double and sell that property because they know the appraised value. Don't give away your appraisal. You paid for it. That belongs to you and the lender and the appraiser. Okay? So 
further on, if something happens, um, your deal falls apart, or if someone else's deal falls apart and you come along and buy, you come in and make an offer on a new on a property that someone else had a deal on and it fell apart, the if the lender is the owner of that property, they have a contract obligation with FHA and VA to have to transfer that file to the next lender. That's the only way they can. If it's a conventional loan, if the previous or your deal was a conventional loan that fell apart, the lender is the owner of that, so a conventional is not transferable. Okay, so that's not going to happen, but FHA, HUD, and the VA want that appraisal transferred. They're going to label that property for six months, okay? That, that, that's set for six months, the value of that property. Okay, so if you had a contract in on a house that was for 150000 and an appraisal came in at one forty, you can't get the loan because it appraised low. Someone can't go out and sell that house to FHA or VA for above the one forty. They can if that buyer is willing to bring more cash to the table, but that's the appraised value now on that property for six months. Okay, so that's why that value, you have that value, you have that control and key. Don't give that information out to realtors. That belongs to you. You pay for it. You have the rights to that. The lender is not going to tell them. Why should you? I hope that gives you a little insight on appraisals and how to best work them. We'll talk to you soon.